Alright. Sure, you're already wondering why the hell am I still up at 2 a.m.? What can it be that I'm doing for school that involves connects, toys, all that junk? Okay. Because I've got nothing better with my tune, I'm all hyped up on caffeine. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Alright. That is a ramp. Oh, under there. That was an original connects ramp, which I've been doing for a while. That and down there is a cart. Pretty much the competition is is I gotta make a cart that takes gra using gravity goes down the ramp, which is somewhere on the tape and stops by a brake system. They're not gonna actually tell me where to stop it until the actual competition. So gotta have a brake system that I can use and calibrate. And okay. Um, after all doing a bunch of useless work and bring myself a hot gun because you shouldn't use that early in the morning or night, late at night, whatever. Um, I decided to uh, grab an old tri-board and make a simple ramp. And yeah, that. Uh, cardboard has a little too high of a friction, so there are hot wheel tracks on it for the wheels to go onto. Okay, for those who are watching this, just because you're doing this event in the future. Um, pretty much I'm just going to quickly go through how, how it works. The higher the ramp is, the worse your score is. By the worse it is, I mean the higher it is, low score wins. You want a small ramp, you want to get as close as you can to the target point, you want to get there as fast as possible and closest to your predicted Here's time. Here's cart. Since the cart has to be under a certain weight, it's made out of aluminum. Here's the braking system. Pretty much the way it works is this this nut right over here um, moves with the axle. The axle actually moves through the chassis. I count rotations for how far I want the car to go. As, as the car turns on the ground, the nut moves over, eventually hitting the side of the chassis and breaking the cart. Okay. Now wheels made out of CDs because you want traction, but you also want low friction so the energy gets put into the forward motion as opposed to being wasted to overcome friction. I have uh, rubber bands hot glued to the front wheels to provide some traction <clears throat> so it doesn't skid when braking. Now, you gotta release the car, right? You can't just put it down and drop it. You have to have a release mechanism that can be activated by a pencil, or in my case, a Sharpie right here. Right here is my system. I just have a hooked wire, which I hook over the car, and I flip it up and the car moves. So, pretty much just going to do a quick test, show that my entire night right here has not been a complete waste, even though I am not done yet. Car, placing on it. Now, the target I want to get is at 488 centimeters, because it is, yeah. So... I'm not going to go through the whole math, but calculated that it is 14 and a half spins to get 48, 488 centimeters and the distance that it has to cover on the ramp. Now, I also have tick marks for centimeters on the circumference of the wheel so I can get close if I feel like it. Now, got a nice little picture of Scooby Doo. And now, Pinspe, his chin is the star point. So, since 14 and a half rotations, one. Fourteen and a half. All right. Well, I'm gonna negate that because I don't know. Testing seemed to work out. All right. Now I'm gonna place the cart on top. I'm gonna use my phone as a timer. Right now, I'm just gonna say it's gonna take thirty, uh, three point three zero seconds in order to get to the target. Okay. Stopwatch. As I flip the pen. I'm going to press start as when I flip the pen, I'm going to press stop when it breaks, and then I'm going to calculate my score based on the parameters. Three, two. I took 3.35 seconds. Now, part of the time, part of the score is the actual time it took to get it, so I'll get a certain amount of points for that. Then there's also the difference between your predicted time and your actual time. All right. Now, on the side of the cart, right here, is a paper clip. Right over here. Well, you can't see behind the wheel. Let's move over. A paper clip. 
the bottom of the paper clip is the measuring point between um, from there to the actual part. Now, if I set the target distance. Now, if you can see, I don't know if you can, I got pretty close. It's over here, the paper clip. And the target point is just in there. So, measure the distance and see what we got. Okay, to calculate your score, it's fairly simple. Um, it's the distance score in millimeters. The distance score is your, where your cart is from the paper clip to the actual target. Um, so it's your distance score in millimeters plus 25 times your travel time. The amount of time to, it took from release to get to the target plus your height score which is 400 times the height in centimeters divided by 300 minus the height. Then add 50 times the absolute value, the difference of your, your predicted time, your actual time. And add that all up, that's your score. All right. So my height score to near centimeter was 58. My distance score was 125. My predicted time score would be, was, is 0.05, right? Because it's my actual time, 3.35 minus my predicted time, which is 3.30. The difference is 0.05. Now, doing all the math, my score comes out to 307. Now, as far as I know, that's a pretty damn good score. So, hopefully, it'll work out for me in the actual event. Claim a medal, and then anti will go enough for something. To, I don't know. Anything good. Because this has been way too much work. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna show the, uh, the how to calculate the score right after this. I'll put it up in text. And if you have any questions about the uh, event, leave it in the comments, and I'll gladly help you out.